Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I could not think of a better topic to discuss on an actual snow day than the idea of how to overcome the Sunday scaries. Now, I had never heard of that term before becoming a teacher, but essentially the Sunday scaries are not just for teachers, but it's just that feeling you get on a Sunday when you think about the looming week that's ahead of you. You could be stressed about something specific or you could just get chronic Sunday scaries and always just have that uneasy feeling, I'm not ready, something's going to go wrong, just feeling uneasy. And I normally, on average, according to my Fitbit, I normally do not get good amounts of sleep on Sunday nights. And I don't know if it's because of the Sunday scaries, even though I do everything we're about to discuss as a way to get ready and embrace the week and really put my best self forward. Really quick, if you are new here, we are doing the March Madness series where I do an unscripted and unedited video each and every day. If you're new to this channel, click that subscribe button and the bell to be updated for each and every future video. I'm pulling my notes up here just to keep me on track because without them, these videos would be really long and to not edit them would be a lot. So without any further ado, here are ways that I personally like to overcome the Sunday scaries and have a productive week at school. The first thing I do, Sunday morning, I will wake up, make my favorite cup of coffee, and I will pack all of my lunches. I've got little bento boxes. They are linked down below in my Amazon store. I will go down, I'll make typically the same lunch just because boring is beautiful. I don't have to think about it. So make my coffee pack my lunches and if nothing else that morning I have got five beautifully stacked bento boxes in my fridge ready to go if I'm feeling really adventurous I will make a big batch of cold brew coffee so that in the morning I can just pour me a cup of cold brew and grab my box and be out the door the school I work at right now we do have lunch options but I don't want to take from the time the kids have because they're currently eating in their classrooms for social distancing. So I am happy to say I have packed my lunch every single day this year. The next thing I'll do, if I haven't done so already, I will do all of my laundry. Now this might be a little type A, but I will lay out my clothes for at least Monday and Tuesday. This helps me this meaning laying out the clothes along with the coffee and lunch. This lets me a just coast through the morning no decisions need to be made and b lets me think that i did something to put you know my best self forward during the week i wrote pack lunches lay out clothes and all things i need i wrote basically set the flow so if i can make my week flow the best way possible without having road bumps what do i need to do what decision do i have to make am i running late this will just my anxiety and my panic will go off the rails if I don't have these things set to go. This is not to say that I might, you know, have something happen. Something could not go according to schedule. That's just life. But setting aside the lunches and the clothes and whatever I need. For me, my lunch, I'm sorry, for me, my school bag goes right by my front door. My coat, my hat, and my gloves go on my dining room chair. So I just come down, I've got a nice little walk. Um, actually, I'll get out of bed, go to my bathroom, all of my clothes are laid out. I've got a quick five minute routine, ready to go. Haven't worn lipstick very much. This was a very nice change today. Uh, go downstairs, grab my coffee, grab my lunch. They both go in my school bag. This car actually has remote start. So when I go downstairs to get those things, I'll remote start the car so that I've got my seat warmers and the heat going, thank goodness, because it's gonna get down to negative four later today with more snow coming. So we might get another snow day, thumbs up, for snow days, right? But either way, letting the week flow the best way possible. It also helps me, you know, make the most of my time at home, my downtime. I don't have to sit and think, it's 6 p.m., I haven't packed any lunches, I haven't done my laundry, I am not ready for this week. And I have actually taken lesson planning out of this equation. I personally do my lesson plans before I go home on Friday. I've gotten into a really good groove where I take any free time I have during the day and I will lesson plan. I've got little post-its on my planners so I know what to do. I know uh, what to do if there are backup plans that are needed. So lesson planning for me is off the table, but if that's something that would help your Sunday scaries, go along and make that coffee, pack your lunches and sit down for an hour and lesson plan when lesson plans took less than an hour. 
dreams. But those are things that I like to do just to set my flow, so to speak. The next thing I wrote, and of course, I have been trying to keep my phone from going to sleep um, after set the flow, I will write down what's bothering me and or scaring me. And sometimes just seeing it in writing makes me realize, wait a minute, I've been fretting over these two things that I have no control over and that don't happen until Thursday. Just seeing it all on paper does help and you don't have to have the answers. Just taking the time to write out, here's what's bothering me. For me, a few weeks ago, what was bothering me was the high number of positive cases. It was just freaking me out. I kept thinking, why are we going into school? Woe is me. We are putting ourselves in danger every single day. And while I still cannot control that, I write it in my planner. Hey, if you've got that free time, you go to your sanitized desk, take your mask break there, drink your water, do your plans, you know, as much as you can do in school, do it so you can have as much of a work-life balance as possible. But just writing things out is really, really helpful from someone that never thought that it would be. The next thing I wrote was work out or simply move your body. I cannot tell you the amount of times I have just thought, oh, Sunday's my day off, I'm not gonna do anything. But then I go do all these school prepping things and end up crying on my floor by three o'clock. You can ask my husband, I have no idea why, but it's just this anxiety in my head of, I don't know what's gonna happen, what's going on, I have no control. And it just, it sits and palpitates in my head and it's just a cycle that could have been avoided had I just gone for a walk, done a Zumba video, played Ring Fit Adventure, or just gotten up and moved. If you're someone like me who doesn't particularly enjoy working out on a regular basis, you can, you know, go to a class with friends if it's socially distant and or safe. You can go outside, you can listen to a podcast and walk or an audiobook and clean your house, get your steps, whatever it is, honestly, just move your body. If there's anybody else here who's a teacher that has recommendations on ways to move your body to avoid the Sunday scaries, let me know down below in the comment section. And lastly, I wrote, just do something fun. I mean, there's already enough going on in preparing a five day week in a pandemic, right? Go do something fun. For me, I will put everything away, computers, cameras, social media, cell phone, I will play uh, PlayStation 5, I will do Sudoku, I will keep trying to learn the clarinet, even though it's not going very well. I might do a future video on me trying to get better at the clarinet in seven days, I've really been thinking about it. Just listening to music or singing, whatever it is, have some fun. Do something that will take your mind off of setting your alarm, trying to go to bed, maybe failing at going to bed early, but just having maybe something to look forward to. In my mind, I would say, okay, I'm gonna do this something fun after my workout. So maybe, and I didn't even write this in here, but I thought of it, maybe throwing in some self-care here. You can go do a workout, go take a shower, do your nails, whatever you need to do to feel like you have been cared for, and then go do something fun. And if you've, woke up, if you've woken up early and already had your coffee and set your lunches, your coffee, your laundry, whatever, ready for the week, you can go enjoy anything you want without a care in the world. Now I know doing all of these things might not alleviate all of the Sunday scaries, if any, but it is, it is, excuse me, it is at least a step in the right direction. Do you guys see why I'm doing this series to practice speaking slow in a one take fashion? But everybody, that was today's video. This is honestly what I've been doing to overcome the Sunday scaries. If you want another video about this in maybe a better organized fashion that isn't a one take in my car during an awesome snow day, let me know down below. Also, let me know what, if at all, works for you. It doesn't just have to be something fun or a workout, if there is something you have found that would help any teacher here in this community, go ahead and put it down below in the comment section. Um, I also have an Instagram and a Facebook group down in the description box, as well as everything I use in both my brick and mortar classroom and my online classroom. And if I didn't already say, these Sunday scaries are not solely for brick and mortar teaching. There are some times when I was just a full-time out school teacher and I didn't teach on Saturday and Sunday, and I would always run through my head, did I lesson plan everything? Are all my slides ready? Do I have all my props ready? Do I have all my questions for my flex classes ready? 
just little things that can sneak up on me. When it comes to online teaching, I will do a future video on ways to be prepared on a weekly basis, but my long short of it is use your Google Calendar. I have a video on that if you wanna see how I calendar block. And I set a ready, set, go hour every morning that I make sure if I have a flex class or a personally designed class that's off of the platform, is it ready? Do I have everything set to go? I'm gonna ramble on this because I don't have notes on it, but just know a future video is coming out on this. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed. I will see you tomorrow in our next episode of March Madness. Bye.